Okay, the nitrogen cycle. One of the harder cycles in the grade nine ecology unit. So, in the atmosphere, 78% is nitrogen gas. And that sounds like an abundance, but actually most organisms cannot use nitrogen in this form. And that is why they undergo several processes which make up the nitrogen cycle. And these are the processes we are going to talk about. Um, I mentioned 78% is nitrogen, and the rest, 21 or so percent, would have to be oxygen. And then about 1% would be carbon dioxide and other chemicals dissolved in the atmosphere. So, why is nitrogen so important? Well, first of all, it's essential for all living things, and I'll explain why. Because it is in amino acids, and amino acids are basically the building blocks of proteins. And proteins are very important for your body for functioning as an, as an organism. So it's in DNA and RNA. Basically, they're the same thing. They have similarities and differences. But they're both very important in terms of genetic material. And another reason why is because they help in photosynthesis and enhance plant growth, meaning this is a plant, just a plant, and this is a plant with nitrogen, with a good amount of nitrogen, meaning that nitrogen really helps in growth, just in general, and that is why it is used in artificial fertilizers and even organic fertilizers way back then. So fertilizer, um, there are three main ingredients of artificial fertilizer. One of them you should know is nitrogen, N, Another is potassium, K, and the third one is phosphorus, P. So those are the main ingredients. And as you can see, nitrogen has many reasons why it is so important in our lives. So here are the main processes of a nitrogen cycle we are going to cover. First is nitrogen fixation, where we start with nitrogen gas. So it's in the air, the atmosphere, and now it's converted into ammonia by nitrogen-fixing bacteria. And now, in nitrification, ammonia is converted into nitrates. And nitrates is one of, um, is one of the most used sources of nitrogen by plants. Oh, by plant. Um, denitrification is when nitrates from the soil or from plants go um, are turned into nitrogen gas by denitrifying bacteria. Yeah, so then we start with nitrogen gas and then we end with nitrogen gas. And that's how you can see it is a cycle because it's cyclical and just keeps going on. Nitrogen fixation is when um, Nitrogen gas turns into ammonia, which is from the atmosphere into the soil. And this is carried out by nitrogen-fixing bacteria. And basically, you can find them in nodules of legumes. And basically, nodules are these lumps on the roots. And they have nitrogen-fixing bacteria. And legumes, I'll give you some examples. Uh, alfalfa, sprouts, beans, those kind of things. So basically, they are very rich in these bacteria, and they are very helpful because now they convert uh, nitrogen gas straight to ammonia. And um, before artificial fertilizers, farmers would use them and plant them in their crops, in their fields, to help their other plants grow a lot quicker, you know, a lot faster, very grow very well, you know, very big. Okay, now. In nitrification, we have nitrifying bacteria, and they convert ammonia, because ammonia can be harmful to some organisms, not all, but they can be consumed by some and are harmful to others. So nitrification, the nitrifying bacteria, convert ammonia to nitrates. And nitrates, as I said before, are really important because the plants take them. The nitrification is when nitrates from the soil and plants are turned into nitrogen gas by denitrifying bacteria. 
and then is released back into the air and it continues the cycle. So here's a picture, a good example of nitrogen cycle. So we start with the N2 and then we go into the soil. And you can either go to the plants straight away, the legumes through the nodules, which you know have the rhizobia. The rhizobia. Or you can go just further down the soil to nitrogen fixing bacteria. And that turns it into ammonium or ammonia. And then and then it is converted by nitrifying bacteria to nitrites. And then those are turned into nitrates. And then the nitrates are consumed by producers' plants. And then plants can either be dead, just decompose, or they can go be eaten by a consumer. And then the, and then the waste of the consumers, or just the plants dying, are decomposed by decomposers. And then they take the ammonia out. So now we're back to ammonia, and we're going back to the middle of the cycle. And now we're going through de uh, nitrification again, going to the nitrates, and now we're going to the denitrifying bacteria, where we go back to the beginning of the cycle, or the end of the cycle, and that is nitrogen gas. This is a diagram of the nitrogen cycle and, um, using the metro. Um, Okay, so the higher you go, it's the higher you are in altitude-wise. So up here would be air, and down here would be the soil. So you start from the air, in the atmosphere, atmosphere, and then you go down to the soil through nitrogen-fixing bacteria, which turns the nitrogen gas into ammonia, then um, the ammonia would go to the nitrifying bacteria, with, which would turn it into nitrates, either for producers or for the nitrifying bacteria, but that's later. Okay, so the producers would be eaten by primary consumers, then the secondary consumers, and they would produce waste, which decomposers would take care of. And then they go back to the nitrifying bacteria, then turn it back into nitrates, and they would go to the nitrifying bacteria, which again would turn it into nitrogen, nitrogen gas. gas. And that is our interpretation of the nitrogen cycle. We call it the nitrogen metro.